<laughs> Have you ever heard the phrase, never judge a book by its cover? Do people who don't know Jesus judge us before they even get to know Jesus or even become a Christian? That's what I was like when I was a kid. When I was born, I was born and raised in the Catholic Church, and I thought if I was good, I would go to heaven. If I was bad, I would go, well, to the other place, unless I did an act before God. I lived in what I'd like to call a work style of worship. When I was told I needed a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, I thought, this changes everything. My life was changed that night when I got saved. And I started living in what I'd like to call the grace style of worship. And I've come to realize that there are two reasons why not enough people are knowing about Jesus Christ. The first one, which I will talk about later, is we are not sharing Jesus Christ enough with the people we know and the people we don't know. And another problem is, if we do tell people about Jesus, they're just doubting about all his miracles that he's done. Even people in the Bible, when they heard about Jesus' miracles, they even doubted him. Like, if you go into the book of Matthew in chapter 8, and everybody's crowded in Peter's house, and you see Peter's mother-in-law lying there on the bed sick, and then comes along Jesus, he comes and touches Peter's mother-in-law's hand, and she immediately gets up and starts serving him, says the Bible. People found that amazing, but the other, some other people just thought that never happened. But even in Matthew, also in chapter 8, if you go into a field and Jesus is there casting demons out of someone. And over to your right is a herd of pigs and, well, they're not smelling their best today. So what Jesus does, he take, the Bible says that Jesus cast the demons from that person into that herd of pigs. And then the Bible says that the whole herd went into a lake, drowned, and died. Now... If I could be honest with you for a second, this changes everything on how I view pork. <laughs> like, next time you go to the grocery store, make sure you check the label that says, this pig has been checked for demonization. <laughs> so what can, we, what can we do? Like I introduced in, for my first problem, we are not sharing Jesus Christ enough. We can be servants for Jesus and share his good word to those that we know. Where? At school? Our workplaces, even in our neighborhoods, the people that you see on your street. And you can even talk to the people that you don't know. Like at gas stations, post offices, grocery stores, anywhere you go. You can go up to someone and share the word of Jesus Christ. I, you can let them have that same exact moment that I had. That this changes everything moment. 